Hey everyone, this is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Cancer. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. So, yeah. So you're trying to heal your heart here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. But you're running from something. <clears throat> Some of you left a relationship that you may have sabotaged <clears throat> or that you tried to work on. But that relationship was a karmic relationship. That relationship was designed to teach you lessons. This person was brought into your life to teach you some type of karmic cycle. Karmic retribution. And although you still talk to this person, you know you don't want to be with them. Because you're trying to get over them. Yeah. This person is very self-absorbed. You know that this relationship is not going to This relationship is, is basically over But this person keeps stalking you They keep trying to gaslight you And they keep trying to blame you For the relationship ending This person calls you on a regular basis To tell you that they are thinking of you But still they make you feel like you're not good enough and they don't want to be with you so the person you're connecting to could be playing a lot of games oh yeah they could be playing a lot of games here because it's like they want a commitment but when you try to give it to them they pull away yeah it's time for you to start focusing on you start focusing on loving yourself Start focusing on being the best version of you you can be. Because this person, you may have felt this was meant to be, but you have a soulmate coming in for you. You have someone that will uplift you, will make you feel good about yourself. Someone that will help you move on from this level of toxicity. Someone that is going to make you the center of their life yeah yeah but there is a runner chaser dynamic here so there is something that has to change and be transformed within you when it comes to relationships because i feel like for a lot of you you've been running from yourself and you would want this person to chase you, to show you <clears throat> your value and worth. So it's like you're looking for some type of validation. After the karmic relationship you just exited from. So you're looking for some type of appraisal. Some type of, you did good. Yeah. The wheel is turning in your favor. Luck is on your side. Love is coming towards you. Healthy love. Probably from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. But this is going to be a stable new beginning. This is something that you would be able to build on or grow with. And there is no game playing with this one. There is no back and forth. There is no highs and lows with this person. Yeah. This would be a smooth transition 
where this person is going to literally because of who they are make you fall for them hard yeah yeah you're going to have to finally let go of the karmic relationship put a stop to that karmic person and decide to come to the person that makes you feel good about you that makes you feel loved that makes you feel like you are good enough yeah to the person that does want commitment to the person that is ready for marriage because i feel your past person only played games they will be single independent ready to start something with you there is no drama there is no headaches with this person yeah they are literally going to be everything that you have wished for in a relationship this is going to be the type of relationship that makes you realize why no other relationship ever works yeah you and this person may not have met each other yet but you're about to yeah and all your insecurities will actually be triggered for you to heal when you do meet this person yeah this is not somebody that is long distance to you so you may have already met this person just never given it any thought but this person will bring you a lot of happiness this is a new beginning that will bring you a lot of happiness and joy so you'll be able to leave the past behind leave the toxicity behind leave the karmic relationship leave the game players behind yeah and become the best version of you but you have to decide which one of these people you really want to be with the game player or somebody that is stable and ready to be in a commitment yeah because you may have to fix some things in you where you attract toxic people and love to be with them yeah for a lot of you you do need healing you need healing on you because <clears throat> there is an offer coming towards you probably from a younger earth sign and this person is going to be open and honest with you this is not going to be a game play in type of relationship this person will let you know what it is they want without they'll be very blunt this person will let you know what it is they want yeah you're going to have a breakthrough when it comes to love all your shadow days are over you feeling like you're not good enough is going to come to an end and you're going to finally start building a stable solid foundation yeah it's time for you to take your rose color glasses off and see the world as it is and see the person that you are obsessed with or they are obsessed with you see them for who they are there are a lot of fears and limitations here so you or this person may need to start doing some inner child healing yeah because you have a lot of guilt or this person guilt trips you into staying with them they are very dishonest but they trigger you there is a lot of conflict and argument here but you are about to have a stable new beginning could be with Aries Leo Sage but it's your time to become the best version of you you can be and this person coming in will be everything that you have asked for you might meet this person in summer it is going to be accidental or so you think but it's going to be very sudden things are going to take off pretty quickly you will see very clearly once you meet this person but you're also going to have to come out of your comfort zone you're going to have to decide if this is what you want you have to decide what it is you want change transformation and abundance happiness or control and living in the past and living in memories of when things were good you have to decide if you're willing to let go of the toxic patterns and break the cycle but one is as different as the other so you have to define which lifestyle is best for you.
all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope it does help have a good one